this is a heads up. Collections is going to use our compare twos that we again should be a part of that overall class, complete class profile. Now, if we're doing it with numeric values, we can use the double equals, we can use the less than, greater than, all that good stuff. Just remember that if we're using a, a, a comparison with strings, we have to use the Java compare to function. It doesn't work with less than or greater than sign. We have to use the Java compare to function to compare two strings. So in this one, even though it's very limited here, this one's just comparing the last names of two objects in this particular object of employee. It's going to look at, we can have this, meaning this particular object, and then the other one that's being passed in here by employee X. That's why we have x.getLastName. So numeric versions, we can use the symbols or signs, whatever you want to call it. But when we ever have, whenever we have to compare some strings, we have to use the compare to function in order to do this. But this should already be set up for your object. Now, again, Here's the interesting part. That's if we're comparing two employees. That's what we originally had set up in our complete class profile. We're eventually going to have to start going into this general area for the use for collections. Now, again, this one's kind of controlling, saying, well, I'm going to pass in an object, and then tries to cast it to an employee immediately. What if it's not? We'll go into that a little bit later. But still, our overall setup is going to look very similar. But now... In a collection, we're not sure if it's going to be the same data type or not. It may not all be employees. So we're going to have to think about that in our compare to when it comes to the uses in collections. And I'll show you more on that here in a little bit.